Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting geometry question here, uh, dealing with uh, deals with the interior angle of polygons. As you remember, interior each angle is n minus two times 180 degrees divided by n. That's the interior angle of each um, polygon. The, each angle of the interior for this polygon, for any polygon, where n is the size. Now, um, for this particular problem, we can just simply plug it in here. We have 108 equal to n minus 2, 180 divided by n. Um, whenever you have a fraction here, what I tell my students is draw a butterfly. So basically, cross multiply n is equal to n minus 2 times 180, basically times 1. Okay, this is how you get out of the fraction. From there, it's a pretty easy. So 108n is equal to 180n minus 360. So let's subtract it over. So you have a 72n equal to 360. Okay, so technically it's minus minus, but one more step is 360. Okay, so Let's make sure I got all the math correct. So add this one, it's 180, and that's okay. So n is equal to 5. So it's basically a pentagon. 72, 5, 36. Okay, so the, once you have the equation, it's pretty easy to solve. Now, this equation, I often, I, I don't know about you, I often had a problem memorizing it until I realized something very simple and I, I think that would help you. If you have a triangle, everybody knows triangle has 180. Okay. Now, watch when you have a square. A square is really just two triangles. Okay. The reason it's two is that if you have four corners, four minus two because you need a two connected to actually make a triangle, this is equal to a number of triangles that you have. Okay, so if you have a, um, let's see if I can draw six sides over here, and then you would have six minus two, which is four triangles. You have one, two, three, four, and sure enough, one, two, three, four. And each one of the triangles has 180 degrees in there, therefore, the formula makes sense. Okay, ever since I found that, formula makes sense. Number of triangles I have is number of the sides minus 2 times 180. That's the total interior angles I have. Divided by n, that gives me each one of the interior angle. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.